And welcome to this, the second edition of Camel Racing News. We've got absolutely loads to get through on today's programme as we continue with week two of the prep races from Al Mamoun. We'll start though with today's headlines. Al Asifa were all conquering in the four year old races. Al Hathra clinched the feature race for females. Al Shahinia topped the female division, while Musahan were the best males in week two. We'll also be looking at camel racing logistics in Souk Al Mamoun, reins, robes, and robots. First up today, we'll be taking you behind the scenes of the, the Dubai Camel Racing Club, which has a busy time preparing for racing each week. They have the task of arranging all of the pre-race administration as well as addressing any concerns and issues that connections might have. Let's find out a little bit more. Races are back to the smart track, Al Mamoun. Having finished last season in style, Al Mamoun is gearing up again for the prep races at the start of a fresh camel racing season. Al Mamoun track has become an action-packed camel racing hub with competitive racing and everlasting thrills. The Dubai Racing Channel is well prepared for delivering this event in great style as usual. It has committed all means of successful organisation of the event, kindly sponsored by His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Deputy Ruler of Dubai and Minister of Finance, who has given this sport huge support, raising its profile to the highest levels it enjoys now. Work is up and running over here and all systems go for owners and trainers registering for prelude races. The atmosphere is indicative of a thrill in the making and longing for clinching top honours. The club receives every day large masses coming for registration or catching up with the latest developments of the sport. The sport has also become a rendezvous and a platform for social interaction between various segments of the GCC community. Preparations are well underway in all shoots of the track leading to four, five and six kilometre races for three and four year olds owned by Sheikhs or tribal connections. The club is therefore tip top ready for this precious event. Al Mamoun prep races are extremely important for the creme of camels competing at this time of year. It's the time connections start assessing the form of their racing animals and gauging their readiness for nerve wracking contests. Al Mamoun preps are back. You are welcome to the jewel of camel racing tracks. Welcome to a fair competition for top honours an immeasurable feat to be achieved here in this smart track.
Thanks very much to Tom Hutchins for giving us that report on a look behind the scenes at the Dubai Camel Race Club. For now, though, we'll move on to the racing and the Alasifa team continu continued their domination of the prep races so far, enjoying another good day on week two of the Al Moon preps, organised again thanks to the generous support of His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The team won the feature race for the females. Let's find out a little bit more. Al Mamoun Prep's programme 2016 was the highlight of the early part of the season. Round one was enthralling and round two was no less. The morning session was for three-year-olds owned by their highnesses, the Sheikhs, competing in 14 races all over four kilometres. Race one for local three-year-old females saw intense representation at various owners in a mouth-watering showdown over four kilometres. Owned by His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum and trained by Saeed Salim, Al Shahaniya fought her way to the finish line, stopping the clock in 6.11.90. The runner-up was Al Hathra, owned by His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum and Seat, sporting the silks of His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Maktoum, came third. Race two for crossbred three-year-old females was equally exciting with an intensely competitive race. al for team for His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum came up first thanks to Ward, trained by Saeed Salim, which recorded a time of 6.15.80. The team fielded the runner-up Najoud as well as a third-place finisher Al Shahaniya in a sweeping finish. The competition was carried through to race three for local male three-year-olds where Dabian made a strong finish clinching the title for His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The Atik, trained by Salim Al Arti, recorded a time of 6.19.20 and Moafak for Al Asifa team came second and the third carried the silks of Nad Al Sheba team. Race four rounded off the fierce competition of crossbred male three-year-olds where al Asifa team was once again a dominant force thanks to Barak, who recorded 6.14.00. The team was also represented by the runner-up, Chime. And al Wajri for His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum came third. The best time on the day was recorded in race six for crossbred female three-year-olds where Farida, representing al Asifa team, showed a scorching speed to stop the clock at 6.03.00. The remaining races were all equally competitive, capping a great day. The day was dominated by al Asifa team, who won nine of the 14 races. Of all the divisions in camel racing, the four-year-old segment is one of the toughest to win in, and that's because of the very large fields that they attract. The Al Moon prep races are among the most competitive, even within that division, as this weekend's 14 race card showed. Huge challenges always define the races of four-year-old camels, thanks to the bulky fields. Al Moon prep's programme makes it even more demanding due to the tough competition throughout the 14 race card. All competitors in this morning session of the day raced over a five kilometre trip. The opener, which is normally the toughest race, was for four-year-old local female camels, characterised by relentless rivalry until Tafsir from al Asifa team, owned by His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum, prevailed. The Saeed Salim trained camel recorded 7.49.30. The runner-up, Al Shania, for the same connections, finished ahead of the third-place finisher, Damar, owned by His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Race two was for female crossbred four-year-olds, and Al Asifa representatives were dominant once again, having won the opener. 
it was Farida who landed spoils here, recording 7.57.70, making a quick double to His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed and trainer Saeed Salim. And the team also clinched the second position by Aliar. Bashaya for Nad Al Sheba team came third. Race 3 for local older male camels was rich in quantity and quality in this feature race for camels owned by their highnesses. Al Asifa made it a straight hat trick as Sogan emerged the winner recording 7.56.40, sporting the silks of his highness Sheikh Hamdan. The runner-up was Mahdi for his highness Sheikh Faisal bin Abdullah Al Muala. The third was Shaheen for his highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum. Race 4 for male, older crossbred camels was no less in quality and tenacity. It was Merzal who ran away with the first prize in the silks of His Highness Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoum, recording 7.58.00. The runner-up was Al Shamali for His Highness Sheikh Diab bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Al Sayyid for His Highness Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoum came third. The challenge went through to the final race, which recorded the fastest time of the day. Further proof that Al Mamun races are full of quantity and excitement. It was Min Hasha for His Highness Sheikh Said bin Hamdan Al Maktoum, trained by Khalifa bin Sultan Al Suwaidi, who was a worthy winner, recording 7.43.90. The race brought the curtain down on an exciting day of racing for camels of their highnesses, and the day was marked by good results for all. So, some pretty comprehensive winners there on day two. Join us after this short break when we'll be looking back on day three. Welcome back to Camel Racing News and we reflect now on round three when it was Al Hathra who clinched the female feature for three-year-olds owned by golf owners. The Al Mamun preps, which were again generously sponsored by His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Here's a little bit more. Round two of the meeting designated for camels for golf owners kicked off early in the morning. The meeting attracted altogether 555 animals competing in 16 races over a trip of four kilometers dedicated to three-year-olds. Despite it being Friday, there was a massive crowd and the excitement was there throughout the card. Race one for local female three-year-olds attracted 27 camels that made the opening race a thriller. Al Hathra, owned by Omar bin Awad Al Kutbi, wasn't even amongst the first 10 in the early stages of the race, but the owner was confident that he had nothing to worry about. She travelled smoothly over the first three kilometres and shot to the lead inside the final kilometre and stayed on strongly to record her win in 5.59.90. Two seconds ahead of Minhaf for Saeed bin Khalifa al Suwaidi, and third came al Shaiba for Abdullah Al-Amir. Race two for crossbred female three-year-olds attracted 30 animals in a race that in the past has been often marked by surprises. The start was smooth and Makifa for Sultan Said Mizbah Al Saadi, who was 10th, started to thread her way through the field, progressing with every step. In the final kilometre, it was evident that she wouldn't be denied as she hit the front and started to distance herself from her rivals. Despite the attempts of Najwa for Mubarak bin Hamad al Mahari, Makifa wasn't in danger and she crossed the line first at 5.59.70. Two seconds ahead of Najwa, 
Wasayef for Mohammed bin Sagir Al Qutbi finished third. Race three for local male three-year-olds was highly competitive with a field of 28 starters. The start was steady, but the momentum picked up gradually to a sprint in the concluding stages of the race. The competition soon developed between Mayas for Mohammed bin Maher al Qutbi, who dashed to the front, but was soon tackled by Munjiz for Ahmed Khalifa al Sawaidi. Others kept close in an attacking position such as Mahdi, Al Muktabar, Shaheen, and Mushji. Though Munjiz hit the front inside the final kilometre, he was headed by Mayas, who finished first, beating Munjiz into second, ahead of Kafu for Sahel bin Abaid, who finished third. Race four for crossbred three year olds drew the participation of 26 camels and the start couldn't prepare you for the excitement of the finish. Mahab for Masaba bin Rashid al Dari led the field, but Al Khalid travelled strongly to take the second position at a later stage. The complexion of the race changed drastically as Al Khalid pressed to the lead and the owner seemed confident in his ability. He kept on to distance himself from rivals and never looked back to put the race to rest, recording in the process the best time of the day at 5.59.20. He finished about four seconds ahead of the runner-up Mahul for Mohammed Awad al-Mansouri and Katir for Nasir Shafi al-Shafi, who was third. So an impressive win by Al Hathra and to find out a little bit more about her, we caught up with Mohammed bin Fayel Al Zari. والحمد لله توفقت الحذرة تقدر نزعت الشوط الأول بكل جدارج توقعات كلها عند الله هذه والحذرة قامت في نص الحلال وفي كيلوين الأخيرة دخلت في الحلال وفي كيلو الأخير نزعت شو مركز الأول والحمد لله توفقت حصلت على مركز الأول والله الحذرة نحذر من سلالة الحذر وأما بتهملول إنجازاتها سابقة العام الماضي حصل على سيارة والسنة لها عدة سبقات والله يهديها إلى عمر بن عوض وإلى شعار المتحدي سالم بن سعيد المنان The weekend was a good one too for Al Khalid, who actually recorded the fastest time. Ali bin Sultan Al Suwaidi spoke to us about the race. Well, Alhamdulillah, Allah Taala Umar Sheikh Hamdan Bar Rashid Ma Qasr, Hat Tashriere, and the record from the beginning is good. Al Khalid is from the line of Shaheen, Shaheen Khalili, and he has three cars in the year, and this is the second one he has won. Well, Allah Taala, Alhamdulillah. الله وفق الحمد لله والأيام اللي إن شاء الله تشوفون إنجاز خير عن هالإنجاز إن شاء الله شيء من الحلال بعد ما شارك ما عنده جهوز الأيام اللي إن شاء الله بيشارك والله نهدي هالي جميرة نعم ونشكر سمو الشيخ حمدان بن راشد على المكرمة والتسعيرة So at the end of week two, Al Shahina, owned by Hamed Mohamed Salah Jawail, was a worthy winner of the feature race for local four-year-olds, and Masahain topped the male division. This is the final day of round two of Al Mamoun Prep for four-year-olds for golf owners. The meeting attracted 414 camels who competed in 14 races over a five-kilometer trip. Race one, which is typically the strongest in camel races, attracted 26 animals who were soon battling for the lead where Bashaya, owned by Salim bin Hamoud al-Hashmi, went to the front. The race then went at a steady pace, but the final kilometre brought dramatic changes as al Shahania for Hamad bin Mohammed al-Mari travelled strongly to hit the front and keep on to land the spoils, recording 7.44.50. Ajiba for Ali bin Awad al Qutbi was the runner up. Twenty two camels faced the starter in race two, 
and the title holder, Al Shahania, for Khalifa Abdullah Al Nuaimi, was the leader of the pack. At the 1200 metre marker, the dash to the line started and it looked like a four way competition. Hafla for Khalifa bin Salim Al Mazrui emerged as the winner, stopping the clock at 7.64.40 ahead of Hamlula for Abdullah bin Ali Basudi. Race 3 turned into a strong event between local male four-year-olds, whereby 27 camels were at the start. Masai Han for Abdullah bin Ali Al Qutbi moved from second to lead the race at the two kilometre marker. But it was hugely astonishing to see Al Shibal for Hilal bin Buti Al Ghafli take the lead from Masai Han, who wasn't far from contention. Al Assad moved in the last kilometre and looked like the winner but suddenly Musayan bolted up to reassert his supremacy in the last 50 metres and crossed the finish line first in 7.54.20. He finished 0.6 seconds ahead of the runner-up Al-Assad for Sultan bin Mohammed bin Kolba. Race 4 saw 25 camels in a hotly contested race. It was Batash for Ali bin Khalifa al Sawadi who led the field right from the start. He travelled strongly and was never headed, making every step a winning one, crossing the finish line in 7.48.20. He finished more than three seconds in front of Al Sayil for Mosin bin Salim Al Jabui, who was the runner-up, followed by Al Metro for Hamad bin Sawaili Al Amri. The best time of the day was recorded in race 8 by Al Deeb for Jar Allah bin Akil Al Mari, who led throughout the race, recording a facile victory in 7.40.08. Yeah, as we saw there, Khalifa Salem Al Majrui was able to celebrate a really good win of Hafla in the female crossbreed category. We caught up with the successful trainer, Mohammed bin Saeed Al Zari. بداية نشكر صاحب السمو الشيخ حمدان بن راشد على هذه المكرمة وعلى هذا الدعم اللامحدود لأصحاب الهجن وحفله سبوق احتفلنا بفيلم اشتركنا بفيلم التمهيد الأول وحصلت على مركز الثالث الشوط الأول للمهجنات ونرجعها ونعيدها هذا السبوع وتسبق ولها عدد سبقات تنحدر من سلالة البطل بعيد سمو الشيخ حمدان بن راشد المكتوم هو مهم هجنة الشوط ما اجتمع سبق وهذا توفيق بيد الله واللي مشتركات عند حفلة كلها نسبق واللي رايح في الشوط الاولي يدور السبق الخليفه بن سالم المزروعي والعشاق شعار المتحدث. It was Al Deeb owned by Jar Allah Mohammed Al Hadid who ran out the impressive winner of race 8 recording the best time of the day 7.04.80. هل الهجن كلها والخليج وجولها من كل ديره من الخليج ومن من كل ديره الذيب ابوه ذيب الرياسه وامهم صيحه ناقت بن علقاه المزروعي اهديه لابن علقاه احمد بن سعيد المزروعي والمشجعين الذيب نعم متوقع لانها افضل تيم ثاني تيم في السباق اللي طاف هو اول اشتراك اول اشتراك له السنه Time to take another short break. We'll be back in just a few minutes' time.
A warm welcome back to part three of Camel Racing News. And now it's time to go behind the scenes as we visit Souk Al Mamoun, the home of Camel Racing Logistics. We're going to find out a little bit more about everything from breeding to robots, reins to medicines. It's all there. Let me tell you about a night ranger that is as bold as a warrior. Its power and size are extreme. It's wirelessly driven and guides the jockeys. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the camel robot. When you have a look at it, you will think it's a very complicated invention, but if you have a closer look, you will see how simply it functions. It looks like a drill without the drill bit and a battery that makes a small noise. However, this robot is very safe secure and admired by all who use it. The Robotic Jockey, an innovative technology that is customised to service our heritage. You can find this invention and more at Al Mamoun Market, where you can find all the kits that you need and are related to the camels and the racing industry. This place is a sanctuary for all estate and farm owners for who raise camels. You can find a variety of shops there that display very specialised goods produced locally or imported from abroad. And the most important thing about these products is that they possess high-tech qualities. Not far from the fabric shops, breeding and halter rope shops, you can see in between lots of veterinary labs for camels. احنا هنا في مختبر الدانا بنعمل تحليل شامل للدم ووظيفه في الجمال وجمال الانتاج بنعمل تحليل وظيفة الدم في بايكومستري هيماتولوجي بنشوف برضو الفيكال بنعمل بروسيلا في الحمل كل شيء عدنا يعني في الدم للجمال كل حاجة كل حاجة في الدم في الدم بنحللها يعني. Here, the owner of the camel knows the reason behind his camel's sickness. And also here, he gets the treatment and the medicine for his camel. The labs at Al Mamu Market are under governmental veterinary censorship. The pharmacies over there are monitored really well. The healthy record of the camel is a key factor for its well-being. احنا بدأنا نطور شغلانة الهجن او الموضوع ده عن طريق ان احنا بدأنا نعمل ابحاث مع الشركات الخارجية فبدأنا ان احنا دلوقتي بدأ ما نكون صيدلية فقط بدأنا صيدلية وموزعين معتمدين لشركات امريكية واجنبية في ادوية الهجن بحيث ان احنا نقدر نطور صناعة الهجن في المنطقة Al Mamoun Market is a very comprehensive shopping place for all camel owners where they can find the best labs pharmacy recipes and all the equipment they need for their camels. So for all your camel racing needs now, you know exactly where to shop. For those who might be new to the sport, here's a quick explanation of what each of the name categories mean. Hawa means weanling. Fatim is yearling. Hagaga is juvenile. Lagaya, three-year-old. Azar, four-year-old. Thanaya, five-year-old. Hul or Zamul is six-year-old or older. Ebkar is female, aged between zero and four. Jadan is males, zero to four. Nagar is females, five-year-olds and upwards. And Bayir is males, five-year-olds and upwards. And we'll be testing you on all of that next time here on Camel Racing News. That's it for today's programme. Many thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again very soon.
Thank you.